Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm using the Lemon Sky Outdoor Collection in Photoshop. This beautiful moment here was captured by Annie Smack at Little Peanut Photography and I'm looking forward to bringing out the kind of the whimsy and the childish charm of this capture. For an in-depth tutorial of how to use these actions, please watch video number one, which is where I really go into detail about installing and using these actions and how each one of the sections works. In this edit, I'm going to be moving quite fast. Um, I will be making the edit up as I go along um, because I do like to kind of come into these edits uh, blind if I can so that I can kind of give you a real example of how to use these actions. So I'm going to start with the bases here and I think I'm going to use a gentle mini base on this one. You'll notice how the background layer remains intact um, when using the bases here. You'll notice quite a subtle change when the base first plays um, and then it's up to you to kind of go through these layers and decide exactly how you kind of want them to work with your images. So I'm just bringing the gentle base up a little bit. Clean up there, I think I'll bring that up. Warm the image up nicely. And then we have some paints here, so you'll want a white brush selected. Um, sorry, not paints. <laughs> Turn on or off layers even. And perhaps that one there, cooling down maybe just a touch. Okay, so that's before and after using the gentle base. I'm quite happy with that for now, so I'm going to take a snapshot and flatten. These snapshots appear up here and are really great for kind of if you need to go back at any point in your edit. I'm just trying a couple of the one click um, image balance here, these affect the whole image. So I'm just going to take that colour pop down, I'm just bringing a little bit more of the colour out there. And warm up as well, I already warmed before, so yep, flatten. I'm going to separate this background out a little bit, create a little bit more depth um, with the girls in the background there. So I'm coming down here onto the paint brushes. I think I'm going to play the russet background paint. And I'm just going to bring that over, I'm just making the brush a little bit and using the bracket keys, just over this area here, just to kind of add that separation. Now we're going to work on bringing the skin out to really bring the focus into the girls. So I'm going to play a brighten and lift um, paintbrush first just to brighten these faces up. This is really gentle, the actions are so gentle so you can build them up as you go. I'm going to come up into the skin tone here, I think I'm going to play a pinky skin toner. I'm going to brighten up the face here, uh, perhaps add a little bit of contouring back in with contrast. So I've played these and I can just kind of click on them as I go. So if your skin is looking a little bit cold, play the pinky skin toner. Contour contrast will really help to pick out any highlights um, and accentuate any shadows. White is show, black is hide. I'm going to play a foundation. Cream Soft Foundation seems to be one I play a lot um, when I'm doing my edits. It all really does depend on your own personal style and taste. You could give this image to 10 photographers and they would come back with 10 different edits. That really is the beauty of our industry, um, that we're allowed such creative freedom. People didn't used to be able to have such freedom when editing or when creating before and after with the creamy skin toner. So paint that off there a touch. I paint this off the eye area too. I'm going down to the eye section. I'm going to use sharpened eyes to kind of just bring these details back out. 
perhaps lashes, um, liner and brows as well, this will darken those eyelashes. I think I'm going to um, decrease the highlights a little bit on these um, dresses just to bring the attention back to the faces so I'm going to play the sky dress and highlight white ridges. The idea is not to make it grey but just to kind of take a little of that reflective kind of quality down. Just uh, bring some of those details back in. I'm going to play painted hair too. And just to add kind of a really glossy artistic softness to the hair there. And I think I'm going to go for one more Brighton for luck. Just here adding the brightness in with the connection between them, even though they're not looking at each other, the body language is very, very much um, kind of reacting to the other one, which is wonderful. So I really want to brighten that connection there. I want to add a little bit more separation here um, between the girls and the background. You can use the LSP background blur action for this, which is a separate action, or you have a mini blur paint in this set, which you can use if you want to just kind of blur. If you're blurring directly behind um, your subjects, you know, around the hairline and things, I'd really recommend using the, the main LSP blur action, which is available as a standalone. So I'm just painting in here, being careful to avoid anything in the foreground. I'm switching to a black brush. This one is great for a gentle blur. You could also blur um, a little bit of the um, the foreground here, as well, which I would recommend creating that natural kind of depth of field. I'm going to play a light link. Um, I might play the centre light link. You could also play the haze, which I really love. You move this a little and then paint it off anywhere you don't want it to show. Which for me would be faces. And anywhere where you want that kind of natural darkness to come back in. And then you can change the opacity too. And now we're into the one click finish section. These are super quick, they just apply over your whole image. Um, you can paint them off if you want to, or paint them on, slide the opacity. So I've played a darken action here. I really want to darken those edges a little bit. But the black brush is already selected, I'm just going to take this off the girls. Uh, play a vignette as well, this will automatically darken the edges. Again, I'm going to take that off here. Now you can do um, an artistic uh, finish if you want to, kind of some creative with one of these signature washes. I'm going to try Violet Loves. This one is a really nice warm pinky um, overlay, which affects every area of your image, so no blotchiness. I think I like that one, really sweet. I'm also going to try Summer Vibe, this is more of a kind of a cool purple tone which with the purple flowers and the grass I think will go really nicely. Although right now it looks a little harsh so I'm just going to take this down and just bring it up to where I'm kind of comfortable with this image and turn it on or off. Again how you finish your image, how you edit is up, completely up to your own vision. And it also depends on the content of the image as well. Um, how your subjects are interacting, whether they're close up, far away, whether you have a scene, whether you're telling a story. I like that edit. So I'm going to flatten down and then at the end you have these extra options here to kind of bring up the lights, turn down the lights, you sharpen for print, um, resize for social which will um, open in a different image, convert to sRGB for your clients to view in, you save the original file etc. So let's have a look at this. in history because um, you have the snapshot action throughout these actions. That's where we started. 
and that's where we finished. If you have a whole gallery of these you can batch the actions too across your open images which is really cool. You still have to go and paint them on and tweak them but um, you can just kind of batch everything as you go. And that is using the LSP Lemon Sky Outdoor Collection for Photoshop. This image is by Annie Smack from Little Peanut Photography, which is beautiful. And these actions are available at www.lsp-actions.com.